uh hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and uh, this video as well so guys as you can see on this screen uh, i just uh, welcome all the viewers in this video and this topic is all about uh, azure learning is at 100 examination so i'm just trying to give you the basic scenario basic idea about uh, what you sh what you should know before going for that uh, certification so guys uh, in this video i'm talking about the second backbone or second uh, you can say a uh, major concept of uh, Azure uh, which is networking the basic basic ideas I will provide you in this video and uh, apart from this I have uploaded two more videos in that I have explained about what is cloud services basically and what is computing because computing networking and storage are three basic uh, element or you can say foundation of Azure if you know compute very well if you know networking very well if you know storage very well you can manage anything on azure so that is what i'm trying to uh, share with you guys and i hope this video will be informative for you if it is informative please don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you subscribe the channel then you may come to know lots of things i have uploaded some around 33 videos on azure different different configuration and all so if you want you can subscribe them uh, the channel and you can find out all those things from there and don't forget to click on this bell so that you will get all the updated videos or notification like this so guys this is just basic introduction about my channel and this is the part one of this networking so in this i have lots of uh, topics to cover and this is my url channel url here and you can find me by my name itself as i have mentioned on let me take highlighter so guys as i told you this topic is all about azure networking so first of all you should also know what is networking before that i will talk about the rest of topics so the meaning is very simple networking or network what does it mean by network or what does it mean by networking so it is just an interconnection of multiple devices to communicate with each other that is the main concept of networking okay why we do required networking it is only because of sharing resources communication that is the main concept of networking so guys you can read lots of things from google's or multiple books about networking and networking is a very basic things but we are talking about networking in azure how it is helpful how it is informative what kind of services it is providing to users okay so we are talking about cloud here azure is all about cloud so uh, first of all the very first thing here connect cloud and on-premises infrastructure and services so by networking you can connect your uh, on-premises infrastructure with cloud this is the very first service or very first function of this networking okay to provide your customer and user the best possible experience as per their requirement they can ask you or you can use this networking as per your requirement okay very simple thing now uh, support your hybrid or all-in cloud strategy using networking services uh, will dawn one of the largest fiber network uh, backbones or get the most from your azure or open source solution and need uh, workload with highly reliable performance and secure connectivity so it will give you security high speed connectivity and lots of things i will talk about all those things one by one so this is basic about networking why we are using networking in azure if you have a traditional data center and if you want to connect with azure so by using this networking you can do it easily that is the main concept of networking uh, in azure so these are the guys this uh, as you can see this slide here if you go to networking i just you, you can just log into your uh, subscription and go to networking you will get lots of things these are the product of networking or options of basically so this one is you can say it is a product of uh, microsoft azure and these are the options virtual uh, network virtual network classic load balancer application gateway virtual network gateway local gateway and a couple of things you will get once you log into your uh, subscription so we will understand all those things one by one in this video okay now uh, 
before going further i will tell you uh, before this video i have uploaded one video in that i have explained about this compute so i'm talking about these three are the basic backbone of azure compute networking and storage and next video i will be talking about storage in detail so let me move little further so guys uh, before talking about all those things let me show you uh, the portal itself so i have uh, azure port uh, i have created one uh, i mean id and i had taken a subscription free free trial subscription for one month so i have disabled that so still i can log in and see the couple of things here okay so this is my uh, you can say account i have created on microsoft and this is my azure account microsoft azure so here uh, you can see couple of things see if you want to create any resource you can click here and you will get uh, lots of options here getting started recent, recently created compute networking storage what you want okay and uh, if you you can just subscribe the subscription and you can have a look or if you want in detail i told you you can subscribe my channel and you can go how to use it how to configure how to deploy couple of things i have already explained so i'm talking about networking okay so since i clicked on networking it is giving me lots of options like uh, virtual network load balancer application gateway virtual uh, network gateway virtual van dns zone or uh, cisco uh, lots of things you will get here so i'm gonna discuss about one by one in this video okay and later on i will talk about this storage so similarly in this computer i have already spoken about how to use uh, virtual machine and what are things available in uh, compute if you click compute you will get lots of things here okay this is just for creation you can find this from here also go to all services and click compute okay so these are the options available in compute again if you scroll down it you will, you will see lots of things so i have explained couple of things like what is disk basic things disk and availability set and apart from this like virtual machine how you can use how can use the skill sets and all i have already explained and i have made uh, live videos how you can configure all those things in next video it will be storage so guys here if you go to uh, networking part okay and uh, click on networking as i as i told you and you are seeing this much options available you can configure if you want to configure one uh, virtual network you can go here so it will give you like uh, uh, I, I, I cannot create anything here because the subscription I have already disabled here right? and I don't want to uh, enable it because I will have to pay so I'm not going for any uh, subscription here but I'm just uh, telling you a couple of I mean, basic things here and if you go to this option and uh, it will ask it is asking me just let me go to networking okay networking here and you, if you click this it is it is asking like uh, uh, create virtual network okay this is what you will get and from here you can start creating virtual network so as you can see here no subscription is defined in this directory default directory because i have uh, disabled it i had taken for 30 days and i don't want to pay so i have disabled it and uh, this is what i'm talking about you can create virtual network from here and apart from that just go back uh, if you want uh, once again go to this networking if you want load balancer you can create from load balancer here okay so this is how we can use this dashboard basically it is known as dashboard okay and this is also a dashboard if you click here so if it will give you uh, lots of information here like uh, if you want to download anything upload anything edit share full screen clone delete how to use all those things i have already explained in uh, my previous videos so guys let me uh, move to the slide little bit further okay so azure provide a variety of networking capabilities why uh, we can use or why we should use and what are the capabilities azure provide in term of networking so the very first one is connectivity between azure resources okay uh, and uh, azure resources means what whatever you create whatever you use that is known as uh, azure resource like if you are creating any uh, network you are, if you are installing any virtual machine that is known as resource so it will give you your connectivity 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 between all the resources together 
in a secure and private virtual network in the cloud so it will be secure private and high security available next internet connectivity communicate to and from azure resources over the internet so you can uh, i mean you can connect from your uh, traditional data center to azure resources and azure resources from azure resource to your uh, traditional data centers through internet over the internet or you can access it anywhere through internet on premises connectivity i'm telling you like you can use vpn virtual private network over the internet or through dedicated connection to azure okay to connect your on premises connectivity load balancing and traffic direction load balance traffic to server like which traffic should go to which server like that you can configure with the help of and load balancing also for high probability or fault tolerance okay these are the services or you can say the features or capabilities of networking in azure next one is security high security enabled because only you will have uh, access of this one this uh, azure portal or you will have separate separate subnet and you can put all the virtual machines in separate separate subnet as per the requirement routing next one use default routing for fully controlled routing between your uh, azure and on premises resources manageability you can monitor and manage your azure networking resources easily deployment and configuration tools there are lots of uh, like uh, tools and platform is available for for uh, cross platform okay you can communicate with uh, linux operating system as well as windows operating system so these are the uh, you know capabilities of uh, networking basically so you should know why we should use or we can how we can use networking and again these are the product of networking okay basically networking is a product of uh, azure okay and these are the options networking content delivery network express route traffic manager virtual network azure dns load balancer vpn gateway application gateway couple of things here network watcher azure firewall so i will explain one by one basic things in this video and uh, let me move to the next one so the the very first question here what is virtual network okay so virtual network or azure virtual network you can like uh, define it is a combination of three word one is azure second one is virtual and third one is network so it is a total azure virtual network so it is developed by microsoft azure so name it is it, it, the name is coming by because it is providing this service and virtual virtual it is available network connection of multiple devices okay so there are lots of resources connected virtually with each other that is known as azure virtual machine so if you read lots of things here you can read azure virtual machine azure virtual network enables many type of azure resources such as uh, virtual machine security communicate securely communicate with each other the internet and on premises network so these are the uh, you can say services provided by this azure virtual network and a virtual network is scoped to a single region however multiple uh, virtual networks from different region can be connected through using virtual network peering okay how to configure this peering i have already uploaded one separate video what does it mean if you have multiple region okay so you can communicate with multiple regions by using network peering virtual virtual network peering and uh, you will have one virtual network will be having two single reason only this is the one uh, important thing you should uh, not miss and let me move to the next one azure virtual network provide the following key capabilities so it provides lots of key capabilities like isolation and segmentation you can create a small small sub network okay as per the requirement communicate with internet you can communicate with internet and on premises communicate with azure resources all resources can be communicated with each other even they are uh, in different subnet you can configure and you can make them to configure with each other how to do it i have uploaded one separate video and that is uh, mm -hmm. next one is like on premises resources mm -hmm. you can communicate cross mm -hmm. like this is your uh, azure and or this is your on premises resources you can configure root express vpn and all you can connect com communicate 
filtering of traffic okay uh, root network traffic connected to virtual network so these are the capabilities of network next one what is azure load balancer so guys again it is a, a combination of three word azure azure is providing the service so it is known as azure load load means what workload okay and balance balance means uh, managing properly balancing okay so what does it mean by very simple with azure load balancer you can scale your applications and create a high ability of your services for example you have some data on this server you got one one server here okay s1 and you have one more server here server 2 so some some traffic is coming on that and this server is not able to handle that so you can share that load balancer with another server that is known as load balancer so in this condition your application will be available from both the, the both the locations uh, the failure of chances will be very less it is known as high ability okay how to configure it just go through my channel guys you will get complete video load balancer supports inbound and outbound scenario provide low latency and high output and scale up to million of flow for all tcp and udp applications so this is the basic concept of load balancer is providing a high ability of your applications or services next question why use load balancers why you should use why you can uh, like uh, someone is asking why should i use uh, load balancer then you should be able to answer the questions the very first thing load balancer incoming traffic to your vm see load balance you can load balance the, the coming traffic from internet to your virtual machines this configuration is known as public load balancer so you have one data center and or like you you put one uh, application here and lots of people are accessing it through internet so that is uh, uh, coming to your server and and, and you can uh, configure it as a public load balancer that will be known as public load balancer basically and that condition again i'm telling you it, it is putting lots of uh, pressure or uh, i mean workload on this so you can share that that is the bas basic concept of load balancer if public uh, traffic is coming more you can share that with other server also load balance traffic across vm inside virtual network inside your virtual network also you can uh, send other traffic to uh, other different different server for example some video video streaming is happening from this server and request is coming from image so you can send the traffic to this image server which is coming for image only and that video can be go to this server this is how you can uh, you can you can configure load balancing okay and you can also reach a load balancer front end from on premises network in hybrid scenario so that is known as uh, your uh, internal load balancer so in, uh, load balancer will be in two type one is public public traffic and if you are using internally that is known as internal load balancer and this you can configure port forwarding to a specific port on a specific virtual machine with inbound network NAT address translation basically network address translation you can configure okay like 80 or 443 where it should go the traffic like that you can configure provide outbound connectivity for virtual machines inside your virtual network by using public load balancers so you can create cross communication also between your public load balancer i mean public and uh, internal load balancer now type of uh, load balancer guys i told you two type one is public second is internal load balancer okay so public load balancer maps the public ip address and port number of coming traffic to private IP address and port number of virtual machine and vice versa for, for the response traffic from the virtual machine and internal and internal load balancer directs traffic to resource that are inside a local uh, virtual network or that use a VPN to access Azure infrastructure next topic is what is application gateway Azure application gateway so Azure application gateway is a web filter or web traffic load balancer basically that enable you to manage traffic to your application web applications and this is like uh, the, the traditional load balancer operated layer 4 
okay and route traffic based on source IP address and port to destination IP address and port number so this is what I'm talking about here this is application you have couple of applications here this is your image server this is your video server okay and uh, someone is uh, texting from here people are uh, accessing like video so video will go this side image this video will come this side and image request will go this side that is known as application gateway azure application go gateway it will not search here and there it will go direct to that particular server only that is known as app application gateway you can configure it how you can configure you can subscribe my channel and you can find definitely you will get a, a configuration video next but with the application gateway you can even more specific for example you can route traffic based on incoming urls so that is what i was talking about for example image is coming so it will go to image only if video is coming it will go to video server only so you can configure that very easily next topic guys what is bpn gateway so a vpn gateway is a specific type of virtual network gateway that is used to send encrypted traffic between azure virtual network and on premises location over the public internet for example you have azure here okay this is your azure and this is your on premises data center so you can communicate with this so this vpn will give you encrypted uh, traffic that will be very secure that is the main concept of vpn gateway now next one is what is local network gateway so it represents the vpn device basically in your local network and used to set up side to side vpn connection and a local gateway represents a hardware or software vpn device in your local network there are no additional charges for creating virtual uh, i mean a local network gateway if you go to your subscription definitely you will get it from all services and here this one local uh, network gateway virtual network gateway application gateway load balancer each and everything is available here you just need to click and you can follow the rest of instruction i'm not going further because i will have to pay that and i don't want to pay that if you want to see that subscription you can just go to search here subscription okay like this and uh, you can see you can select or you can uh, you can select multiple i mean you will get options what kind of subscription you want so you don't have any subscription because i have not i mean i have disabled that that is why it is coming like this and i don't want that or if you want you can select from here and uh, subscribe it as per your requirement you can add from here i don't want anything so i'm not uh, doing that next let me take you to uh, to the next uh, uh, topic next topic is what is virtual gateway virtual network gateway here very important a virtual network gateway is a composed of two or more virtual machine that are deployed to a specific subnet you create which is known as or which is called a gateway subnet so it is a combination of two or more virtual machine okay the virtual machines that are located in the gateway subnet are created when you create the virtual network gateway so how to create it i have explained in very detail uh, separate video you can have a look if you want and virtual network gateway virtual machines are configured to contain routing tables and gateway services specific to gateway you can't directly configure virtual machine that are part of virtual network gateway and you should never deploy additional resources to that subnet this subnet okay and creating a virtual uh, virtual network gateway can take up to 45 minutes so these are the basic information about uh, virtual network gateway and uh, let me move to the next one So guys in this video this much information only i tried to share with you guys if you want more as again and again i'm telling you you just go how to configure in this i'm, I'm talking about theoretical only so just now if you see here i will show you how to configure virtual this is you can see point to point vpn uh, gateway load balancer application how to configure and uh, 
Azure load balancer how to configure okay I'm telling you if you want you can subscribe the channel and you can find from there so guys in this video this much information only if you find it is helpful please uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel comment on this video share this video and like this video and then next uh, I will be talking about uh, these are the topic I will be talking about what is content delivery network on Azure what is traffic manager application security group what is Azure network watcher what is firewall so subscribe the channel and enjoy the videos and learn try to learn till then bye bye